When talking about Disney's acquisition of 20th Century Fox a few years ago, there was a lot of focus on the X-Men and Fantastic Four movies going back to Marvel because Disney would be overseeing all of the Marvel properties under the Marvel Cinematic Universe. However, when Disney did purchase Fox, this did allow Disney to acquire some other intellectual properties, including the Planet of the Apes. With the original reboot back in 2011, we got Rise of the Planet of the Apes, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, and War for the Planet of the Apes. First film was directed by Rupert Wyatt, and then the second film and the final film were directed by Matt Reeves. Andy Serkis played the titular ape Caesar and was able to bring that character to life in a very satisfying way. And with the conclusion of the character Caesar who was introduced in this trilogy of films, we thought that was it for the Planet of the Apes franchise. When Disney acquired Fox and Fox announced that they were going to make more Planet of the Apes movies, people assumed that it was just going to be another reboot. However, shortly it was announced that it was going to be a continuation of the series... And this new movie, called Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, was going to be the first in a new trilogy. Despite this being a sequel to the original trilogy that we got from 2011, there is some space between it to give the new writers and the new filmmakers some breathing room to work on this story. So it looks like this is going to take place several hundred years after the events of War for the Planet of the Apes. And I think that's a good thing because it gives us a bit more wiggle room to say that this is almost a reboot in itself and if you don't like it it's not necessarily connected to the trilogy that we got most recently. Although I do think it is quite a wise move to move away from what we got in the trilogy of films from Rupert Wyatt and Matt Reeves and now that they have retired the Caesar character and then we get to see his legacy in this movie it appears but this does seem to take place several decades or several hundred years later just basing that on some of the shots in the trailer. I could be wrong but it does just say in like the synopsis of the film that this takes place generations after the events of War for the Planet of the Apes so it's up to your interpretation how long that is. This time the film is being directed by Wes Ball who you may know for directing the Maze Runner movies and he was initially set to direct a movie called Mouse Guard which I was actually very looking forward to but then that got scrapped when Disney acquired 20th Century Fox and there is hope for that coming back someday but for now we're just going to have to settle for Wes Ball's version of Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. The synopsis of the movie is as follows. Generations after the events of War for the Planet of the Apes, many ape clans have emerged in the oasis to which Caesar led his fellow apes, while humans have regressed into a feral state. When the ape leader Proxima Caesar perverts the teachings of Caesar to enslave other clans in search of the last traces of a secret human technology, the ape Noah embarks on a journey to find freedom alongside a young woman named May. I think the trilogy did a good job showing us like the fall of humanity and from my understanding of the original Planet of the Apes movie which is mostly based off what we saw in The Simpsons where Troy McClaw does the musical for Planet of the Apes is that an astronaut goes into space and because of like time dilation or some physics stuff like that he returns to Earth thinking it's a different planet and he's greeted by all these apes like running things and then it's towards the end of the film he discovers that he's actually back on Earth and that apes have taken over and it's several hundred or thousands of years after he actually left Earth as an astronaut. I think the astronaut was teased in Rise of the Planet of the Apes. I think something's mentioned on the news screen during that movie about someone going up into space. And I don't know if we'll get to that at the end of this trilogy of films. I think they might be going for that in this new trilogy, but we'll have to wait and see. I think with what we got with Andy Serkis playing Caesar in that trilogy of films that we saw the fall of humanity, and now this is really looking at the events of apes being in charge for several generations and I just really like the imagery across all of the trailer where we see earth but you know it's overtaken by plants and skyscrapers and roads buildings are just destroyed and have engulfed like what society is and I think that's quite an interesting thing to see in like a apocalyptic movie and to some extent this is like a end of the world movie because you're seeing this point of view from the apes like the 
it's almost like an alien takeover movie, I suppose. But, you know, apes are from our planet and then they got sentient because of this drug that was being tested to treat Alzheimer's, which was in the first movie, I think. And in the original movie, I think we do see like the human factions in like ripped and torn clothes. And the synopsis even says like humans are feral and they have sort of become like rat like creatures, like foraging and hunting maybe. And they're not liked by the dominant apes that are now running the planet. I think it's a cool way of flipping that, showing like society going on its head and then human beings sort of reverting back to more like what a caveman would be whilst we're being dominated by another force. In this case, the apes, you know, they're not quite in a advanced scientific futuristic world, but they seem to have some sort of like feudal government. And even the fact that the bad guy in this played by Kevin Durand is called Proxima Caesar, like relating to the Roman Empire and Caesar being an emperor of Rome. Obviously, that's a callback to Rise of the Planet of the Apes, where Caesar gets his name from the play Julius Caesar by William Shakespeare. It's an interesting way to go for the story, and I do think this will end up being a new trilogy. I think this movie will probably be a cheaper budget version of what we got from War for the Planet of the Apes. But I do hope that people go see films like this. There are big franchises that can still be a box office crawl. But I also don't feel like a film doesn't need to make a billion dollars at the box office to be successful. And this doesn't really have too many famous people in it. And it's mainly probably going to try and be a strong story and be marketed on that. And it's probably going to be marketed on a sequel to the other trilogy that we got with War of the Planet of the Apes. And it wouldn't surprise me if Andy Serkis has a cameo in this as Caesar, if there's some sort of flashback. It does appear that they are pushing away from that, and there may be no real narrative reason why the character is going to show up. And it would definitely just be a flashback or a vision or dream sequence, for example. But I think you need a bigger name in this to sort of attract people to go see this movie at the moment they've only got um owen teague is playing this character noah who's the new chimpanzee kevin durand is playing this proximus caesar and freya allen who you may know from the witcher series playing she's playing a character called siri in that which you may have seen or may not have but you know the witcher was quite a popular show on netflix and there's controversy around it with henry cavill leaving but she's the female lead of that, and now she's taking on this big film role as the female lead in this new franchise. And maybe this is the sort of film that would be able to throw into the spotlight a lot more, and she may become a box office draw, I don't know. I think overall the CGI does look quite good in this. Um, it's probably not that perfect, and I need to go back and watch the other Planet of the Apes movies, and I'm sure that when this film does come out it may be like touched up a bit more to make the computer generated effects look much better. We do know in particular that Marvel and Disney have a bad reputation of computer generated effects and I would just really want any studio working with CGI to take the time and make it really work. I know that it's just a money making thing at the end of the day. It's just a business but films have to look good. I think CGI pushes like the boundaries of what we can get in cinema. I think if you just look at like Avatar, The Way of Water, that really pushed computer generated effects really well. And, you know, that made so much money at the box office. I don't think like this movie was going to be able to do Avatar numbers at the box office, but I like to think this could do all right. I don't think it'll make a billion though. Uh, that's just... It's, I think people always say that our oh, films would have to make a billion to be successful, but I think there's only like 30 films that have ever made more than a billion dollars. And that doesn't even include the inflation from around the world. So I do think films actually make less than they used to overall. But if they've got this IP of Planet of the Apes and Disney and Fox want to make more movies, I think they could make this work to be a new franchise and maybe they'll get spin-offs because I still know that Disney Plus are really pushing out as much content as possible. But if they just go for a standard trilogy and just make good 
films that have great stories. I think this may pay off for them. I'd like to see more of this franchise expand and I did think they were going to reboot it completely but the fact that they've got this character, a new character with Noah and this young female character May being introduced and this is generations after the last movie, it could almost be a reboot and not really like clawing to its connection to the Matt Reeves and Rupert Wyatt trilogy that we got in the last decade. I would love to hear your thoughts on the trailer in the comments below and whether you think this is just another cash grab or do you think there's an interesting story to tell here. Let me know in the comments below. Please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and please click the bell icon to receive notifications for all of my videos. That's it for now. Thanks for tuning in.